You're a big red light guy, aren't you? Yeah, so normally I'll like, I'll like massage and do this and just kind of warm up with the red lights. Um, I have a few red light panels around the house. This is like my like more portable one, so I take it when I travel. These are not supposed to technically go like right on them, but I never really follow any of the rules. <laughs> so I took one of these already, so it has caffeine in it, right. and then some other some other things and some carbs. So I usually start with this in my arm warmers. Mm -hmm. So I take like it's, a, it's about 200 milligrams of caffeine mm -hmm. that I took like. You, I usually take 90 minutes before I start, and then I'll take this around mile four, so then it kicks in around halfway, so I have, right. you know, I have roughly 250 to 300 milligrams in my system the whole, right. the whole run. This is That's the, it. This is the treadmill that lots of interesting runs happen <laughs> on, <laughs> and probably many more. And then, yeah, these are the these are the red light panels from China that. I have, uh -huh. and then some of the altitude generators. I haven't been using them as much lately. The altitude just adds a lot of extra fatigue, and I just I used it a lot in the beginning of the training block, and then once I was really in training, mm -hmm. and like I just so I haven't used it as much. Are we going in here? Come on, Jax. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the this, like, this is the heat box. No. So I have like they're just heat lamps. Dude, wait, do you sit in there? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little, it's not an ideal sauna, but, so I won't turn them all on, but there's six of them, and I just get in here, I think close the, you know, I close the door. You're kidding me. So, when there's like hot races, um, or when I'm just kind of out of shape and need to build some fitness quick, then I can use You just sweat in there. Yeah, and it's like, um, yeah, they're like near infrared bulbs, heat lamp bulbs, and so they, you know, the frequency of the light or whatever is supposed to penetrate your cells and, and heat them up right. more from the inside. So the actual air temperature isn't super hot. It's maybe get like 130, 140 in there, but the the light being directly on your on your skin, you get it's yeah, you, you sweat pretty good. The warm up the soleus. Do the opposite and stretch it out just with the, they call this machine, but working the tibialis interior, the whole ankle complex is, like I know my ankles are not very good. <laughs> so it's the Hyperion Elite 3. CJ's customized version. I basically cut out the tongues <laughs> because I have really fat feet and so the top will like rub against me so I just cut it out mm -hmm. because I, yeah I have abnormally shaped feet mm -hmm. um, and then I cut little you can't see in what they show you but little divots here because my my foot's also really wide so it uh, that way I can spread my foot out so <laughs> but yeah the Hyperion Elite 3 is uh, similar to the 2's just different Little changes, different upper, obviously. Um, but with the tongue set up, they're very breathable. I have to grab my bottles right after I come up the hill. I'm always out of breath. But I, I guess it's good practice. I'll come back up and hop on this road, and then I'll just be running out along that perimeter of the road. Okay. It's like cool. a 2.1 mile.
Dude, you're an animal. I got a two last night. No, I'm kidding. This is 432. That's <laughs> why stuff me down here. It's a lot of bugs. All the, yeah, all the, yeah. Swallow. <laughs> a lot of bugs. And these weeds. So you, you run this all the time, right? Yeah. Pretty much. That's my like standard loop. Going around the park. And then. This hill sucks, but. This is, uh, I mean, this is way harder than one that anybody else regularly does. This is hilly though. Yeah. Like the whole thing is extremely hilly. Well, it's just like, it's hard to get a rhythm because there's so many like turns and people. And yeah, and I'm like hopping over curves in the grass. And it's like weird little things. So it, it like, it's not like super hard to do, but it's like enough that it like, it's hard to like really run fast. So pretty easy, I feel like I have. Like I have more gears uh -huh. than I normally have. Well, I saw you. I saw you pushing the tops of the hills a yeah, bit. Yeah, towards the end, my last uphill mile was 503, which if I'm anywhere close to 503 at Heart Bay, I want to run a pretty, pretty good race.